beats are alternating loud and soft sounds resulting from interference between two slightly different frequencies. The equation for the beat frequency is the absolute value of the difference between two very close frequencies. A beat frequency sounds like an ooh-wah-wah-wah-wah-wah. Let's go through an example so you can try and understand here what's happening with regard to beats. Let's say we have a sound wave that I'm representing here and that's the number of wiggles per second. Now it turns out that that would be 16 wiggles per second or 16 Hertz. Now in an earlier lesson we talked about that humans can only hear between about 20 and 20,000 Hertz. So in theory we can't really hear a 16 Hertz sound, but I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. And let's say we have another sound. This one is very close in frequency to the first. It's one Hertz off. And we're going to play these two tones simultaneously. And here's what's going to happen. You can see that this green region here, on the top, the wave is at the top of its amplitude that is in the positive direction you might say from equilibrium and down here in the bottom it's in the negative position that's true all the way over here with this green one as well this wave is up top this waveform is down below those tend to cancel each other but look at this orange region I don't know if you can see this but what we're getting in the green regions is destructive interference and what we're getting in the orange region is constructive interference. And if you were to add these two waveforms, what you would end up with is some kind of a wave like this, where the amplitude would be maximized here in the middle, and it would be minimized on each end. And this is an wow sound that I told you what a beat sounded like. And this beat frequency would be one hertz. It would be one wah per second. Wah, 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 like that. Let's try it again. Let's take that same 16 hertz sound wave, assuming we could hear it, and let's play another one. This one's 18 hertz. And by the way, you can actually count crests and troughs in here, and these are actually correct. 16 and 17 and 18 Hertz. So feel free to count them if you want. We're going to specify a few certain locations here. And just as before, the green locations have maximum amplitude and minimum amplitude. Maximum, minimum. So just as before, the green regions give us destructive interference and the orange regions give us constructive interference. And what we would get here is a beat frequency of 2 hertz, 2 wah, 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 wahs per second. That's what causes beats. Beats are variations in the loudness and softness we perceive when two sound sources have very nearly the same frequency, but not quite. The number of these variations that we hear per second is the beat frequency. Piano tuners use beat frequency whenever they're tuning pianos, whenever band instructors are tuning the trumpet section, for example, they're using beats to decide, oh, you're sharp, you need to pull out, you're flat, you need to push in. Those sharp, flat sounds are based on this idea of beats.